Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to Saturday the 11th of November. Today is Veterans Day. So I uh, thank all you guys that uh, have served, keeping us free and safe and all that stuff. You guys are awesome, guys and gals. That is about to unleash fury on us, and that's coming right at us. It actually looks like it's raining in, in them fields back, or in those mountains back there. But goofing around with stuff like I always do. The wireless mic, it's called the Mic 2. It's just clipped to the top of the case. There's something I told you guys, there's something special about this thing. There's like hardly any info on it. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be the new mic set. You know, because I got the DJI mics, you know, it's the two things in a little kit. I think I've showed you that thing before. But anyway, these are a little bit smaller, kind of more high tech. And the best thing is, is it records internally in 32 bit float, which is like any of you guys that shoot raw with your digital cameras, or if you're smart, you shoot raw with your iPhone as well. If you gotta have a iPhone Pro, whatever, I think it goes to 14, yeah, 14 and newer. Dude, another world. 48 megapixel raw pictures. It's like, dang. I hardly ever use a DSLR. If I want that nice depth of field, though, I do. I mean, you can't beat that. But anyway, goofing around, hit the, uh, the pairing button there, and it connects to my phone. I just got to go into my video editor and turn on Bluetooth mic. And uh, yeah, it works. So on these windy days with my iPhone, I've been using the DJI mic, but I have to put the the um, receiver in the, in the bottom of the phone. You know, you switch it over to USB-C for the 15s. But uh, anyway, uh, it, I, all I got to do is just grab this, clip it on, turn it on. And uh, voila, it's running. As windy as it was out here, I should be using it on this. Man, holy moly, that thing's moving in fast. There was blue skies over me when I first walked out there. Kelly's sitting on the porch, you better hurry, it's coming. I go, boy, it is, isn't it? You wanna hear directly what the difference in sound is? I can just turn this thing on. It'll go mono, though. And it'll switch here in a second. And we'll be talking to this mic through a furry. Does it do that while the thing's running? Maybe it freaked out because... Or maybe I, Let me just stop it right quick. Well, I'll definitely have to remember that. It unpaired it. It, it can only be paired to, uh, to one thing at a time. So, yeah, it's starting to rain now. So I had to, uh, had to repair it to the to the Osmo <laughs> but it does work with my phone that's pretty cool super easy to pair but yeah it's starting to rain I need to go holy moly that rain kicked in and I mean it flat unhinged out here about a half an hour ago it started waning down there's like little ponds out here everywhere but this phone I'm on my iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max and the audio is coming from DJI wireless mic. Only one problem, major problem I see with it, is I don't, like I do with the uh, Osmo Pocket, I don't have control over the gain of the mic. And I'm literally like talking right into the microphone because it, <laughs> it sets so low. And then my video app doesn't have any gain control either look how wet it is out there it is pouring back in the in those mountains back there that's just pure digital zone zoom i haven't switched any lenses or anything man yep here it's coming again it's, it's hitting me all over but at least the phone's waterproof but the mic in my hand's not I mean, the Osmo, I've seen some people getting them fairly wet, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to take that chance. That was always a bummer with the, you know, the Pocket 1 and the Pocket 2. Now the Pocket 3, you know, it'd be kind of crazy to make a, that, it would be already more expensive than it is if, if you made that thing waterproof. 
but yeah there's the first first test well i did a couple tests in the in the house but i didn't realize it was uh, gained down so much but well it's a nice option to use it's easier than putting the the receiver in the in the phone and having the um the original dji mic set having one of those attached but uh, they all work oh a little side note with this too as well as i didn't have to that what i was trying to do in that last clip just switch just turn the mic on and it'll all automatically grab it that is a normal function i knew that worked and for some reason it didn't work so i had to repair this thing to the the osmo well when i pulled it out to use it with the iphone here all i had to do is go into bluetooth settings and just simply uh, select connect so i didn't have to repair it to the to the iphone so i don't have the osmo with me i'll go in there and see now that i'm using it on the iphone will it you know i'll just boot it down and uh, i'll just turn off the bluetooth or just disconnect it with the phone and um but just see if it'll automatically grab maybe it's just one of those things that it just freaked it out being paired with something else i have no idea but uh, having the phone with me and the dji could cause some conflict but uh there'll be more testing but it's nice that i can stand here in this wind that's kicking around and i got a windsock on this thing <laughs> yeah that would be making all kinds of noise if i didn't have this on the windsock on this thing and i was just using the built-in mics but uh like i say the original dji mic kit that i bought was that earlier this year last year i don't know whenever that thing came out and um i think those about to be replaced with with these the mic twos and the nice thing is the backup recording of 32-bit float um using it with this in this mode, it's probably well. I have to hook up the mic and see if there's, the files are there. I know with the DJI, it's set up to uh, have a um, a backup recording at 32-bit float. So if any of the audio is weird, you can use that 32-bit fo float. And like I say, um, it doesn't it doesn't peak out if it's too loud and if it's too low. You can push it up. It's crazy what you can do with 32-bit float. I got one of those uh, Insta mics the Instamic Pro that um that's 32 bit recording dude that's so nice but uh really is no there's no uh you have to adjust everything on them cuz it's it's pretty much uh it, it's it's like a raw picture you have to control everything so i mean there's no um equalizer or anything in there <laughs> it's it's pretty flat but um uh, but there's no uh, no blown out or no under. I mean, you can if it's so quiet. I mean, you just cram it. And you just keep pushing it and uh, make it just so you can hear it. It's a magical, magical thing that 32-bit float, especially for just little mono mics, you know, for vlogging and stuff. But uh, it's good to have a backup, especially in 32-bit float. I'm pretty sure what it's doing right. Well, I can see. Okay, yep, light's not on. It's not backup recording in 32-bit float. But you can also use this as a standalone mic to, like, sync it when you're flying a drone or something like this. Something like that. You just push. It has its own power button. And you power, you power it up, and then you simply hit record. Hit that power button again, and it's a record, stop, and start. Or the power button's separate. It has a record, stop, and start. It's the little red button here. the power button and sync buttons on the other side i was saying it wrong but anyway it's nice to see cool techie stuff that works with other things that you didn't expect so i figured i'd take a couple minutes and drive the old trx4 sport out here while it's still some light left in today she's getting real dim out here i have no lights for this osmo pocket 3 I thought it'd be fun to just goof around out here a little bit with the with the sport. Now this thing's got such a small screen I can hardly ever keep the the vehicles in in the shot with the with the iPhone with this big old screen, so this ought to be real fun, huh? <laughs>
Yeah, I can go everywhere out here with this. You gotta think about the small things and where you can and cannot go. This thing just pretty much don't care. What's really weird is how well this thing steers even though the diffs are locked all the time. I wonder if, it's, if it has standard gearing in it. I've never looked at specs. Maybe the front diff does have different gearing than the rear. I wouldn't think so because there's a lot of people talking about, you know, uh, overdrive in the front. And some people go drastic and overdrive the front and underdrive the rear to get that special effect. Nice thing about this one is it's just so simple. It's the cheapest one and one of the funnest ones. And other than that Gen 9, it's easily one of the most capable ones. And there's, I mean, other than motor and servo, this thing's stock. Only thing I've ever done to it other than that was uh, I uh, changed the oil and the, and the shocks. It's probably not the best thing for speed, but it climbs fine and has a very realistic look to it. You actually see the suspension functioning on it. I put some those uh, skid guards underneath it. But she's, she's a stalker. Yeah, I put those skid guards in. The Fusion Pro motor, which you can see there. That's it. I had one in that one of the guards because the guard comes with um, a kit for the rear, and um, it, I would snag it on things every once in a while, especially going out in the pucker brush because um, it was kind of it was meant to be a skid when you're going backwards, and um, like when you're backing off something, well it would grab <laughs> it would grab uh, twigs and everything else out there in the in the back field. Or go out there in a tree farm and stuff like Kelly and I, we did a few times earlier. It seems to be a tricky spot to go up that thing. Those old Canyon Trail tires. You know, I still have some of those in my save for later cart at Amazon. And I'll, I'll see that every once in a while and they'll say, you know, two left. They're sold in packs of twos as well. And um, I just need to get another set. It'd be nice to put these tires on, on some really nice rims, like some trio rims or something like that. It's amazing how many people that crawl with, you know, like actual, you know, like performance crawlers. I like to call them spiders crawling up the rocks because it doesn't, kind of has a buggy look to it, but it doesn't look like, you know, anything you would normally see. It's not a, not a scale looking thing. But um, they'll use these Canyon Trail tires from Traxxas because they last long and they just work really, really well. But the biggest thing with this, with this was the uh, Fusion motor. I come across the thing of uh, um, Easy Boy RC, Easy Boy. Is that what it is? Easy Boy RC? God, if I'm saying his name wrong, I apologize. But anyway, I, it caught my attention as a Fusion Pro had a problem and he had to send it back. But um, Hoppy Wings is taking care of it. It's a, I don't know if they're replacing it or repaired it or whatever, but it's, it's on its way back to him. But uh, that's cool. It's nice to know that if you have a problem, you can contact those guys and they'll hook you up. Even though they couldn't find a, a real source of the problem, they're a little suspicious that maybe it wasn't their problem that was the problem, but they're taking care of it anyway. I mean, who knows? We all try crazy things sometimes, but anyway, I'll go play on the, on the ramps here for a second. I'll put this thing in low light mode because it works so good in low light, but it when you point it in a lighted area, the white balance is a little funky. But I was pointing it out there, just thinking it's nice to, because as of late here, I can't come out here when it's not dark. You gotta be on the weekend, you know. 
the phone works better. As I can come up, I had attachments for the um, Osmo One, you know, the original. Os it was just called the Osmo Pocket, but now that there's two and three out, you just everybody refers to it as Osmo One Pocket One. But uh, anyway, I had little attachments where you could put lights and all kinds of stuff. There is a thing that uh, <clears throat> DJI makes for it. It's like an a looks like it has a GoPro attachment to it and it has a little like a cold shoe mount you could put a light on it that way and I think I had stuff like that but that was it called PG PGY tech they had all kinds of cool things for these but uh, this is the body style or shape is whoops come on is uh, different on this one it's larger it's the largest pocket of the bunch so uh, all those old things don't work. Still works on those. Although sadly, I probably won't use the Pocket 2 very much. And I shouldn't say it was so bad, but it's just white balance issues and there's just some funkiness about that one. Things that the Pocket 1 just never had a problem with. But I think it shot, it was a little clearer, the picture was. Looks like it worked a little bit better. But that doesn't mean diddly. And now when you would manually, manually set the white balance, the, their white balance numbers didn't jive with what the real white balance is out there. Anyway. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to play a little bit off camera and get with the mama and we'll do a goodbye. It'll be dark here before you know it. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the camera stuff. And a little bit of, after uh, talking about camera stuff, playing with the with the RC trucks. I went in, I was done with everything. I thought, you know what? I feel like taking the TRX-4 out for a bit. Here we are. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. It's just barely, barely raining at the moment. Man, it's been a day of like little patches of sun come out for a second, give you some hope. And then, boom, Typhoon Mary. Wow, it's, it's been so spring light the last week. It's just all day. And last night and then this morning, it's just pouring. It's like, and and pour it's got to run out at some point. I know. It. Literally, it has to run out eventually. Man. But anyway, chill day. Goofed around with camera stuff. That's you guys seen coming up here. Discovering things you can do with other brand things. Mixing things around. It's kind of cool. It's fun just tinkering around. A little TRX4 sport ride at the end. That's always fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just like a goof off day. Yeah. Danny, you are leaning heavier on my foot there. He's like sitting on it and he's like leaning back towards me. <laughs> Need that old mutt. He's a goof. Yeah. He loves his daddy. Oh, well, yeah. I can't go out, can't go in without him running along with me. Yeah. Crazy old Danny Magoo. And Lee Lee over there. Yeah, Leo on the other side. Furball. I um, know. Crazy much. Yeah. But anyway, that's a, I guess that'll conclude the day. I think I'm done talking myself out. <laughs> right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. <laughs> and here comes Danny to say hello. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs> Danny says bye. Bye. Crazy butt. Mm -hmm.